A mysterious figure appears and slays a man from atop a horseback with all feathers and knight in shining armor contraptions on. And then we smash cut to downtown Toronto and there is a international chess tournament in progress. Game of Kings is about a chess tournament that takes place in Toronto with representatives from all over the world. And unfortunately, we have a blood feud between the Poles and the Russians on Toronto turf. So who steps in? Station house number four. No, 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 sir. Uh, I wouldn't stand a chance. These are masters. I'm a hobbyist at best. Unfortunately, we have no chess masters at station house number four, but Nina Bloom is quite an accomplished chess player. So we have her play through Crabtree on the floor. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Not too loud. Now, when Marcel makes a move, you have to say what it was out loud, but not too loud so I can counter. Yes, I understand. Murdoch comes up with a little uh, radio transistor device that's, that's going to go into Crabtree's ear and Nina will coach him through the matches. Ah, I should have guessed. Pawn to queen four. Your knight to king's bishop three. I think Nina thinks that he's decent because she taught him, so <laughs> she's gonna wanna think that he's decent. He's not as good as her. <laughs> he's got a lot to learn. I used to play, uh, was I good? I don't know. I was, I was okay amongst my peers at the time, I suppose. Chess is hard work for your brain. I, it's gratifying if you win. I am not. I think I played it once as a kid. I can tell you who is not a good chess player, 